2020. Congratulations. Everyone, have a good time. Enjoy yourselves, because we are here to celebrate your achievements, and great achievements they are. Let us also recognize your remarkable Superintendent, General Darrell Williams, for his outstanding stewardship. General, thank you very much. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> few words in the English language and few places in history have commanded as much awe and admiration as West Point. This premier military academy produces only the best of the best, the strongest of the strong, and the bravest of the brave. West Point is a universal symbol of American gallantry, loyalty, devotion, discipline, and great skill. There is no place on Earth I would rather be than right here with all of you. It's a great honor. Across this hallowed plain have passed many of the greatest and most fearsome soldiers that ever lived. They were heroes who drove thundering columns of Sherman tanks into the heart of a wicked empire. They were legends who unleashed the fury of American artillery upon our enemies on remote islands and distant shores. They were titans who strode through cannon blast and cavalry charge and stared down our foes through great clouds of smoke and shrapnel. They were the Army Rangers who led the way up jagged cliffs, the airborne soldiers who rained down justice in the dark of night, the infantry whose very sight meant liberation was near, and the mighty forces who sent tyrants, terrorists, and sadistic monsters running scared through the gates of hell. No evil force on Earth can match the noble power and righteous glory of the American warrior. I have no doubt that the young men and women before me today will add your names to this eternal chronicle of American heroes. You will go forth from this place adored by your countrymen, dreaded by your enemies, and respected by all throughout the world. Someday, generations of future West Point cadets will study your legacy. They will know your deeds. They will celebrate your triumphs. And they will proudly follow your example. To the 1,107 cadets who today become the newest officers in the most exceptional army ever to take the field of battle, I am here to offer America's salute. Thank you for answering your nation's call. On this special occasion, we are delighted to be joined by Congressman Steve Womack, Secretary of the Army Ryan McCarthy, Assistant Secretary Casey Wardinsky, and Army Chief of Staff General James McConville, an old grad from the class of 1981. Let's also express our appreciation to General Curtis Buzzard, General Cindy Jepp, and all of the wonderful instructors, coaches, and faculty members who are continuing West Point's two-century tradition of unrivaled excellence. To all of the parents, grandparents, and family members watching this ceremony from your beautiful home, even though you could not be here today, we know this day could never have happened without you. Your love and sacrifice have given America these phenomenal men and women. Cadets, please join me in sending your parents and families the heartfelt thanks that they so richly deserved. They're all watching right now. Please.
Thank you very much. The depth and breadth of the United States military's contributions to our society are an everlasting inspiration to us all. I want to take this opportunity to thank all members of America's Armed Forces in every branch, active duty, National Guard, and Reserve, who step forward to help battle the invisible enemy, the new virus that came to our shores from a distant land called China. We will vanquish the virus. We will extinguish this plague. I also want to thank the men and women of our National Guard who respond with precision to so many recent challenges, from hurricanes and natural disasters to ensuring peace, safety, and the constitutional rule of law on our streets. We thank every citizen who wears a uniform in selfless service to our nation. The members of this class have come from every state in our union. You have come from the farms and the cities, from states big and small, and from every race, religion, color, and creed. But when you entered these grounds, you became part of one team one family proudly serving one great American nation. You became brothers and sisters, pledging allegiance to the same timeless principles, joined together in a common mission to protect our country, to defend our people, and to carry on the traditions of freedom, equality, and liberty that so many gave their lives to secure. You exemplify the power of shared national purpose to transcend all differences and achieve true unity. Today, you graduate as one class, and you embody one noble creed, duty, honor, country. Every graduate on this field could have gone to virtually any top-ranked university that you wanted. You chose to devote your life to the defense of America. You came to West Point because you know the truth. America is the greatest country in human history. And the United States military is the greatest force for peace and justice the world has ever known. The survival of America and the endurance of civilization itself depends on the men and women just like each of you. It depends on people who love their country with all their heart and energy and soul. It depends on citizens who build, sustain, nurture, and defend institutions like this one. That is how societies are made and how progress is advanced. What has historically made America unique is the durability of its institutions against the passions and prejudices of the moment. When times are turbulent, when the road is rough, what matters most is that which is permanent, timeless, enduring, and eternal. It was on this soil that American patriots held the most vital fortress in our war for independence. It was this school that gave us the men and women who fought and won a bloody war to extinguish the evil of slavery within one lifetime of our founding. It was the graduates of West Point, towering figures like MacArthur, Patton, Eisenhower, and Bradley who led America to victory over the sinister Nazis and imperial fascists. Seventy-five years ago, it was under the leadership of West Point graduates like the legendary General Matthew Ridgway that the Army was at the forefront of ending the terrible injustice of segregation. 
It was Army strength that held the line against brutal opposition and oppression from communism. 